What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 EDC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the CMB Knives Dharma. Uh, this again is another pass around knife from the Lefty Pass Around. So shout out to you Kev for always providing dope and interesting knives for us to get to check out. Um, and yeah, this is my first offering I've ever experienced from CMB. Um, they are kind of a budget knife, you know, maker, a uh, budget knife company. But this is, I believe, their first like premium um, model they came out with. And, um, you know, I, I'll say right off the bat, I don't love the knife. You know, it's not my favorite knife in the world. Um, but the build quality seems fine. The materials you're getting seem okay. You know, seem good. I don't say seem okay. Seem good. Um, there's just a few questionable things about this knife that I, you know, don't love. Um, but overall, I enjoyed getting to check it out as again, it's my first CMB knife and what better CMB knife to start out with than their premium model. Um, but yeah, so jumping right into materials, you guys can see this is a fully murdered out blade. Um, so you have the blacked out blade, nice hole for deployment, a uh, nice forward finger troll there, it says M390 on the um, blade steel right there on the flipper tab. Sorry, I dropped that way too low for you guys. Um, hopefully you can pick that up. My camera will focus right there. I don't know if that's focusing or not, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, one thing I will notice, you can see the detent ball track on the blade. Um, I know that's you know a common thing for some knives, but I think this is the first one I've ever experienced that has that. Um, but it doesn't really bother me. It's just something I wanted to point out to you. Um, a milled titanium pot clip back here that is not super deep carry. Um, you have about this much sticking about your pocket, but it's you know it's definitely better than some other ones I've handled. Um, and aesthetically, you know, looking. On the knife, it looks pretty good. No complaints at all there. You have a lanyard tube or lanyard hole back here for you lanyard fans out there. Um, it, it, it <coughs> excuse me, I just stuttered there for a second. Uh, it is a liner lock. You have some jipping down here, right there. Um, it's on bearings. Um, for internal milling, there are, looks like there's one pocket on each side. Um, so you have one pocket on the show side and you have one pocket back here underneath the clip on the lock bar side. Um, and then this has multiple ways of deploying it. So you have a flipper tab back here. You have a hole for deployment that's very long and pretty skinny and narrow. And you also have this attempt at a top flipper. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the top flipper on this knife. It's, it's kind of hard to manipulate, uh, but it's definitely there. Uh, it is dead centered, a titanium backspacer right there. And uh, yeah, I think this is all for materials. Um, blade length on this is 2.72 inches. Uh, so this is a pretty big, you know, big knife for me. I tend to stay under three and a half inches for you know my personal knives. So every once in a while, it's nice to get in a bigger knife that I know that I would never buy um, just because of how big the blade length is. Um, but yeah, 3.72. Um, overall length, 8.26. Ah, <sighs> to look for ounces uh it weighs 4.55 ounces so four and a half ounces um it definitely doesn't feel heavy um but it you know for being a bigger knife i guess that's makes it more you know, feel a little bit lighter just due to how big it is um and then obviously which i think i forgot to mention you do have these big slabs of carbon fiber um this is more of marbled carbon fiber that they're doing on here yeah, i'm not the you know the biggest fan of cf um, but in the right situations, it looks good. And I do think that they finish this well. Has some nice shine to it if it catches the light the right way. Um, you have that on both sides. Uh, and the pot clip is only righty carry. They do not have it mounted for lefties. So sorry, lefties. Um, but yeah, so that's all for materials. We're going to jump into action next. Starting off with the flipper tab. Um, both the flipper tab and the front flipper are very small, you know, very subtle. Uh, you do have jimping on both of them, but speaking more specifically to the flipper tab, pops right out of there. Um, I prefer the push button. You, you can do the light switch. You can kind of pull down on it and it'll fire out of there. Um, but, you know, just kind of getting on top of it and building pressure with the push button method just seems a little bit more natural to me um, just due to how small the flipper tab is. Um, see, you, you can fail it though. You know, the detent isn't bad. Um, it's, it's okay on this knife. It's it's kind of in the medium range. Um, it's not stiff, but it's not light, if that makes any sense. But flipper tab fires right out of there. Middle finger flick works really well on this knife just because I can kind of get my the meat of my finger pad into that hole um, due to it being nice and narrow. And it fires right out. Um, thumb flick is... I don't love it on this knife just because... I think I've said this before in my videos. I much prefer 
thumb flicking with a you know a hole shaped or a circle shaped hole or like a a, a pill shaped hole something that has a little bit more you know width than it's like versus this is being skinny and narrow uh, i'm just not the biggest like you guys can see it's it's kind of hard to do it if i'm being honest with you and you honestly have to be careful of that um, flipper tab hitting you as you're doing it as well because uh, you kind of have to go like out with it as opposed to like up with it um, and it just doesn't, doesn't feel natural just because you have to kind of get your thumb in such a weird you know motion and i'm not the i really think that it would be better suited with a wider hole um so i really haven't you know thumb flicked this knife much at all but for middle finger flick it works very well uh the detent seems pretty crispy on that but fires right out of there no complaints at all there so middle finger flick is good the flipper tab is pretty solid um i don't like the thumb flick i did it the first time there but and then that arrives or that brings us to the front flipper and this is arguably one of the worst front flippers I've ever experienced. Um, it's small, you know, you can do it, but it definitely takes you a little bit of time to do it. Um, you kind of just put your put your thumb, you know, right, right in this little like seated area. Uh, and you do have jimping right there to catch it, but you kind of just put it right there and then, you know, kind of roll it back and it pops out. Um, but I'm not the biggest fan of that. I really wish there was, you know, it was bigger because it just seems kind of cumbersome to, to do this. Um, you know, like I said, I've had this in for, you know, a week and a half or so, so I can definitely, you know, I definitely have it. I'm more experienced with it, uh, but it took me a little bit of time to get used to, um, kind of just seating myself first and then applying pressure and then it popping out. Um, but overall I don't, I don't love the front flipper. I don't love the thumb flick on it. Um, they're just kind of awkward, but definitely the middle finger flick and the flipper tab are the uh, the two that kind of um, stole the show for me. But um, as for closing methods, you do have a liner lock here that I wish there was more cut out. Um, you know, my, my thumb kind of gets sore from digging it in there to kind of have to like shove my shove the meat of my thumb in there. Um, so I really would have loved to seen maybe some more cut out there. Uh, but you know, not the end of the world, just little nitpicky stuff, but drops, sh you know, some micro shakes will get it down. It only drops that far because of the, the flipper tab hitting my thumb. And I really don't want to drop my thumb the whole way down here to do it because it'll pass it and then it'll just hit my cuticle. And I really don't want to, you know, slash out my finger like I've done before. Um, but overall, you know, decent closing action, pretty smooth. I will say that. There is no blade place. This thing is locked up really tight, very solid. Comes down, you know. Nice and smooth. Like I said, a few micro shakes, or you can drop it to your thumb and just go boop and bang it shut. Um, so it depends on what your closing methods are. Um, all in all, you know, it's very, very smooth. Just, you know, some, the front flipper is a miss for me and the thumb flick is a miss for me definitely choose the normal flipper in the middle uh, middle finger flick but um yeah so action is is okay in some realms not okay in some other realms but we're going to move on to ergos and the ergos on this knife feel pretty good um but you're typically going to get good good ergonomic experiences you know whenever you have bigger style bigger size knives um without choking up you know the blade shape pretty much straight here it does kind of taper off towards the back and it's pretty straight here with a you know a nice um not a choil but an indent for your fingers um so without choking up using the choil i can still get all four fingers on here very comfortably i still have enough for probably my um, fifth or my sixth finger if i had one if i had an extra pinky growing out back here very comfortable um there is no jimping up here except for right here which i believe is where the no. Yeah, so I don't know what that gym makes for because it's right here. And then when it closes, it's flush with this scale right there. So I really don't know what that jimping does. Um, but other than that jimping, there's no other jimping up top here. But the, the blade stock is pretty, you know, it's nice and thick and has a nice landing pad up here. Um, so I could live without jimping on this knife, you know, specifically. But it's nice whenever you choke up. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm home alone for the day. I didn't work today. Um, my dog Lucy is out in the living room and I thought she was puking. Um, she started making like weird noises. So I shut the video off. turns out she was just sleeping and having like a bad dream. 
Um, but I kind of freaked out there because I didn't want her puking on like our rugs or our carpet. Um, but I'm back. And I think what I was talking about was the choil. Um, so you have a nice forward finger choil up here. And with this, you really get locked in very nicely. Um, you guys can see I have plenty of knife sticking out, sticking out the back there. Um, excuse me. Very comfortable. Um, I can really do some precise cuts with this, you know, if you're doing um, anything small and, uh, you know, you have to be careful what you're cutting around. But the titanium bolsters up here feel comfortable. The um, marbled CF feels good. Like all in all, it's a very comfortable knife. And again, that's, that's kind of what you can expect whenever you have, you know, bigger size knives that are, you have lots of real estate, you have lots to hold on to. Um, and this is, you know, no... Um, no shying away from that statement. It's very comfortable. Uh, I really love the choil. Um, you know, I definitely like the pinch grip too on this a lot because you can get, you know, really some good cuts going on with all these, you know, um, different, different things you have to cut is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, choked back is good. Choked up is good. Um, pinch grip's pretty solid. So overall, this knife is, is very comfortable. Um, I think that's probably the best part about this knife for me um, since the action department kind of has some misses with the front flipper and the, the thumb flick. Uh, I definitely think the um, the shining star for me is the, the ergos of this knife just because it's very comfortable in hand. You can either choke back and it be comfortable or you can choke up and it be comfortable. Um, so all in all, uh, ergos are fantastic on this knife. And the pot clip doesn't sit very flush because it's a milled clip. Um, so even when you're choked back, can you feel it? Sure. Um, but it's very, very, you know, non-obtrusive. Uh, and it gets even better whenever you choke up because you get off of the clip more, you know, if you're going up on the knife, uh, your hand's going more this way. Um, so it's even more comfortable that way. So no complaints at all there, but, uh, yeah, ergos are pretty damn good. Next up is carry. Um, and this again is a righty only clip. You cannot, um, switch it to be lefty or righty, um, which is kind of a bummer for the lefties out there, but, um, you know, it goes into your pocket very well, drops down, you do have this flipper tab, but it's very, very small. Um, so even if you had to get down in here to get, you know, change, coins, chapstick, something small that drops underneath, um, you know, you're not going to have too much of an issue there. There is some jimping, but, you know, it's such a small flipper tab, you really should just kind of bounce off of it as you're coming up out of your pocket. But it's, you know, for being a bigger size knife, I think it said it was like 4.5 ounces. So four and a half ounces, and it doesn't, you know, in hand, it doesn't feel that heavy. And in pocket, it doesn't really feel that heavy either. Um, you know, it carries in my front right pocket and my jeans pretty well. I didn't carry this in my gym shorts just because, you know, it's a bigger, bigger knife and I really didn't want to. Man, my dog is just making all kinds of noises out there today. Um, but it carries very well that way. And, you know, overall, I don't, I don't have a complaint. Um, you know, I, I typically would ask for a loop over style deep carry clip, but I think the milled clip from an aesthetic standpoint, from a, you know, um, a, you know, viewing pleasure standpoint, I guess you could say it looks pretty good on this knife. Um, you know, it matches everything well. So overall, I really don't have any complaints with the carry, you know, for being a bigger size knife, um, for the weight it is, you know, it carries in my jeans. Well, you know, it doesn't disappear. I can still tell it's there, but it's not like I'm carrying like a brick in my pocket. If that, you know, makes any sense to you guys. Um, so all in all, you know, no really true complaints with the carry, but that leads me to my final category of price point and what I recommend this knife. Um, according to White Mountain Knives, which is where I'll leave it linked in the description down below, this goes for $253.30. So I'm a little conflicted on the price. Um, you know, I think in today's day of age with all, you know, basically we're getting better materials for less money. Um, I was a little surprised to see that high of a price on there. And I know you're getting good materials. So you're getting an M390 blade, marbled carbon fiber, um, inlays, you know, titanium bolsters, a titanium clip, you know, nice size, pretty solid action, you know, in different, um, some different areas, you know, with the, the flipper tab and the middle finger flick. And, you know, it closes pretty well on the bearings it's on. So, you know, the build quality is really well done. Um, there's no blade play. It's a very solid built knife. Um, and again, the materials are pretty good, but I was just, again, a little surprised at that price point. I was expecting it to be closer to $200. Um, and again, you can use someone's code like Kevin, uh, lefty 10 at white mountain knives to get 10% off. So I think that would be what, like $20 off or something like that. Um, it, so I can recommend it, but I think at that price point, it would be better suited for 
closer to $200. Um, I think they could definitely sell these for $200. Um, but that's just me, you know, my opinion on it. Because uh, again, it's, it's very well built. The materials are very good. Um, the action is is pretty good in some regards, but kind of, you know, poopy in other regards. Wow, that, that front flip was probably the best one that I just had, at, you know, in a while. Just banged it open. Um, you know, but all in all, if you were interested in this knife, like if you came to me and said, hey, I'm looking at the CMB Dharma, you know, what are your thoughts on it? I would say, listen, it's a great knife. You know, ergos are fantastic. That's kind of my biggest thing on it. Uh, my favorite thing on it. But the materials are good. You know, you're getting, you know, some solid build quality. So if you like the design of it and you like the idea of owning it, go for it. Um, I'm not going to tell you that $253.30 is the best price for it. I, I think it could be cheaper. Um, but, you know, with someone's code, it can get a little bit closer to that $200 price point. You know, probably $225, somewhere in there. Um, so I'm never going to... You know, tell someone not to buy it, but I'm never going to go out of my way to like recommend it if that makes any sense. Um, it's kind of one of those knives that I don't I don't love, but I don't hate. It's kind of just kind of mad to me. Like, am I glad I got to check it out? Absolutely. Um, I think it's again, it's a good, well built knife, and I'm finally got the you know got to check out a, a CMB style knife. Um, but you know, overall, it's not something I'm ever going to go out and buy. It's not something I'm ever going to go out and like be. You know, in two months down the road, I'm never going to be like, ah, I really miss a Dharma. I'm going to go buy one. Uh, kind of one of those things, um, which happens very rarely with knives from past arm groups, um, but it definitely happens once in a while. So, um, but yeah, I can definitely say it's a good knife. My style of knife, no, but if it suits you, if you like the design, you know, good materials, you know, price point maybe a little bit too high, but um, it is what it is at this point. So I'm going to quit rambling, um, but this was my full review on the CMB Knives Dharma. Uh, huge shout out to Kevin over at Left EDC for sending this over or for putting a password group together. Uh, Kevin, I try to thank you every time we have knives in from you, but I really do appreciate it, buddy, if you're still watching. Um, I'll get the, you know, if I didn't get to check out knives through Kevin, uh, I would have so much less content for this channel. Um, and I really, you know, I really have to appreciate and I really have to thank him for all the good he does for our community. So love you, Kevin. That's my shitty rendition of a heart. Um, there we go. Uh, but yeah, so leave a comment down below. You know, what are your guys' thoughts on the Dharma? Do you have one? Do you have any other CMB knives? Um, I would love to hear what you have to say. But of course, it is linked to White Mountain Knives in the description down below. And as always, Blue Creek Knives is linked down below. And Barnes Craft Designs is linked down below. Use my code 814EDC for 10% off of your purchase at Blue Creek Knives and 15% off of your purchase at Barnes Craft Designs. Helps you, helps me, helps the companies. It is a win, win, win. Um, so I'm going to wrap this up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider clicking subscribe if you are not yet subscribed to the channel. We are closer to 1,000. We are getting there slowly but surely. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, night, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.